The ankle joint is formed by the bones of the leg, the tibia and the fibula, and then the foot, the talus. Lateral ankle pain is common, and the most common cause is an ankle sprain. However, there are other causes which we will explore. The outer ankle or the lateral ankle have many important structures that we need to revise. These include the distal fibula, which forms the lateral malleolus, lateral ligaments that help resist foot moving inwards, so inversion. These lateral ligaments are the anterotalofibular ligament, calcaneofibular ligament, and the posterior talofibular ligament. The perineal tendons that are formed by the perineal muscles, they wrap under the lateral malleolus. The sinus tarsi and the base of the fifth metatarsal, the fifth toe. And so the lateral ankle or outer ankle pain can be caused by problems in any one of these areas. Let's look at some common causes of pain in the outer ankle. Ankle sprains is where you have injury to the lateral ligaments of the ankle joint, usually from an inversion injury. Foot is moved inwards. Usually this heals slowly by itself with rest. Lateral ankle sprains that don't improve may mean another underlying injury that occurred with the sprain, such as a damaged cartilage, fracture, impingement syndrome, peroneal tendon issues such as tendinopathy, rupture or dislocation, and then sinus tarsi syndrome. Let's talk about anterolateral impingement syndrome, which is a cause of lateral ankle pain. This condition is most commonly the result of soft tissue scar buildup in this specific location after prior injury to the ankle. The tissues effectively gets pinched or sandwiched between the talus and the tibia and or the fibula bones as the available space decreases during certain movements, mainly dorsiflexion. And so dorsiflexion will obviously elicit the pain. The lunge test, which causes the pinching of the tissue in between the talus and tibia, is positive and reproduces that discomfort. Os trigonum syndrome is referred to as posterior ankle impingement syndrome. And os trigonum is the result of a fracture of part of the posterior lateral talar tubercle or an unfused ossicle. Typically, a os trigonum is asymptomatic. However, it can become symptomatic following an overuse injury or ankle trauma in athletes and dancers performing repetitive forced plantar flexion, such as in ballet dancing. And the idea or the thought is that as a result of this, it causes pinching of the surrounding tissue against the ostrigonum, causing the pain. So pain is mainly the posterior ankle, worse with plantar flexion, because you're compressing that area, and you get tenderness at the posterolateral ankle region. Fracture is obvious cause of lateral ankle pain. An inversion injury can lead to fracture of the distal fibula, causing pain in the lateral aspect of the ankle. The proximal fifth metatarsal is the site of a number of fractures that can cause lateral ankle pain. These include avulsion fracture of the proximal fifth metatarsal, Jones fracture, and stress fracture. Because the blood supply may be disrupted, this can lead to poor bone healing. 
Perineal tendinopathy is another cause of lateral ankle pain. Perineal tendinopathy is irritation to one or both the perineal tendons, with subsequent degeneration and inflammation. In the ankle, there are two important tendons on the lateral aspect. These are the perineus longus and the perineus brevis tendons. The perineus also means fibularis, so it can be called perineus or the fibularis tendons. The two tendons run immediately posterior to the lateral malleolus, and both tendons act to evert the ankle and can be injured with ankle inversion. The perineus longus tendon crosses along a groove in the cuboid and inserts on the base of the first metatarsal and medial cuneiform. The perineus brevis, brevis meaning short, the perineus brevis tendon insert at the base of the fifth metatarsal, so it's a lot shorter. Several factors can contribute to developing perineal tendinopathy including previous ankle ligament strains, you know, when you roll the ankle inwards, valrus of the heel, where you have over supination, perineal tendinopathy causes pain on the outer side of the ankle, particularly during physical activity. Symptoms tend to reappear when the ankle is passively turned inwards because you're irritating that tendon as you're moving the foot in. The pain can also come when force is applied to turn it outward, so meaning that the tendon normally wants to move the foot outwards, but against resistance it will trigger that pain. Another cause of lateral ankle pain is perineal tendon subluxation. The perineal tendons, like many tendons in the body, are held in place by supportive connective tissue, such as ligaments or the retinaculum. If the supportive tissue has been damaged or injured from recurrent inversion injuries, the tendon may be free to slip out of its normal position, and this is called subluxation the tendons usually relocate by snapping back into place. Finally, perineal tendon tears can occur. Acute or chronic from repeated inversion injuries can cause micro tears to the perineal tendon. Sinus tarsi syndrome is a bit complicated. But in the front and below the lateral malleolus, there's a tiny bony passage that connects the talus and calconeal bones. This passage is a crucial component of the subtalar joint and houses the subtalar ligaments. It can sustain injury either from a sudden inward twisting of the foot or from ongoing strain caused by excessive pronation of the subtalar joint. Symptoms include pain aggravated by eversion, so the foot outwards, local tenderness over the sinus tarsi, pain induced by forced passive inversion, and the diagnosis is confirmed by injecting local anesthetic in there. So in summary, lateral ankle pain has many causes including ankle sprain, which is the most common, an inversion injury, impingement syndromes, and we talked about the anterior and posterior impingement syndrome, a fracture, perineal tendinopathy, as well as sinus tarsi syndrome. Thank you for watching.